Hi Sagittarius, here is a general look at your solar chart for July 2015 and every year at this time the Sun is in Cancer, a water sign, so it's a very watery, deep part of your Sun sign chart, Sagittarius. And this is a time when you will be, your attention will be more inward and you'll be more introspective, but also it's a time for you to be letting go of some ballast probably and having maybe a kind of a deep clean in some way or, or another, whether that's, you know, in your space uh, and, and, uh, uh, and uh, around and about the place or whether that's something that's deeper within yourself. It, it might actually be uh, a little bit a mixture of the both because as we begin to work through maybe blockages or uh, problems, um, then we we perceive our surroundings differently and, and somehow we maybe unconsciously want to rearrange our, our surroundings. Um, whether that's just sort of, you know, slightly or, or, or in a bigger kind of a way. Mars is also there and this energy of both the Sun and Mars clearing the decks for new beginnings. So it's a real feeling of um, of um, you know shift, shifting the gear, shifting the gear and uh, that can manifest as this kind of decluttering, this sort of needing to regenerate um, an old situation, a stale situation um, and uh, maybe uh, um, it could be to do with the physical so that can be a detox or it can be to do with having a rethink about an arrangement, an agreement of some kind, a contract um, or relationship uh, and you would just likely feel more more sensitive at times though um, and uh, you can do, be doing this inner shifting but in order to make this outer change you have to be more aware of the feelings of others or maybe it's the rules of others um, uh, and you have to be more aware or you're likely to be you don't have to be anything but you're likely to be more aware of how people's values differ um, how you know there's different value structures and to be more um, conscious of what you need and what you feel is worthwhile at this time I mean in a declutter you know one thing in that hand one thing in that hand do I keep it or do I chuck it is it going to do somebody else some good I mean it's down to as simple as that although it could be something bigger and something very very personal and secretive inside of yourself as well um, so is this worth it or how much trust do I invest there in that person or those people or that idea or what you know that kind of thing so it's it's sort of weighing it up you may be you may be mulling over matters financial and to do with property as well that's another thing that could be going on um, so yeah and uh, radical change is likely whether this is a, a part of a bigger thing which is to do with something that's going on in your natal chart and in your life in general or whether it's to do you know this, this is just a kind of a, a one-off um, or not a one-off but um, an isolated sort of set of transits which aren't particularly uh, uh, um, connecting although of course you early Sagittarians have recently just wave goodbye to Saturn going back into into Scorpio but pretty soon from um, September Saturn will come back over the early degrees of Sagittarius and then and move over those and then on into the further degrees of Sagittarius so this might be a time when you're trying to, to sort of downsize streamline maybe maybe um, taking your life more seriously particularly you early Sagittarians anyway um, now, uh, we've also got Mercury coming in there, so we've got a huge emph emphasis between the 9th and the 24th. Mercury is also going to be in there. Discussions and ideas and research could be more strategic, more, you know, drilling down to the bottom line, what is really wanted here, what is really needed here, figuring it out. Uh, that your thinking could focus on the financial ramifications or to do with the love life as well. Um, there could be more paperwork um, flying about the place and uh, confidentiality as well, needing to keep certain things close to your chest. That's also more likely. And I would say to you with so much emphasis on this very watery part of your sun sign chart, Sagittarius, is that you should be trusting your intuition, trusting that dream or that thought that comes into your mind 
when you're not really thinking about anything. <laughs> um, and, and that's rather than the, you know, the, 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 um, the, the analysis, the, the sort of the, the, the rationalizing, it's just that random thought that comes into your mind um, and that would be intuition or that, that sort of omen or that cloud in a certain shape or portent or uh, however you want to see it, you know. Also connecting uh, with your guidance more at this time, uh, either directly or, or indirectly uh, through another. Um, but until the 9th, uh, Mercury was in a different place and uh, Mercury then was um, uh, in an area to do with bouncing ideas of somebody else um, in partnership or close relationship and um, maybe um, you um, valuing, valuing what they have to say but not necessarily being convinced uh, by what they, uh, what their opinion is. But hey, it helps you to crystallize what, what, what you're thinking by just having this kind of interaction. It might be that you're working more one-to-one uh, -one as well. Um, so just remember, you're likely to be a little bit more sensitive. Uh, you're likely, somebody can push your buttons more easily between the 9th and the 24th. And then uh, the Sun and Mercury move uh, from the 23rd. Uh, the Sun goes into a, 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 an area far more to your liking. Sagittarius uh, is very expansive, it's very uh, extrovert, outgoing, um, and you see fresh possibilities outside of the box. It's as though, oh, why didn't I see that before? You know, this can happen, that can happen. So in the previous phase, even though it is very, very inward, you are working through certain things maybe and you needed to do that and then realize what the priorities are in order to get to the next stage which is more your um, style really uh, it can be to do with travel it can be to do with you know um, people at a distance and opportunities to escape the daily grind um, this is a good time to get out and about more and try new things so the previous period you kind of processing, you might be researching, you're thinking strategically, you're thinking, okay, this needs to be done before that can be set in place before that, you know, is a bit like a sort of military campaign. If it is that um, rational and logical, but a lot of it will just be kind of sensing and feeling and maybe trying to okay, say, okay, I'm, I'm sensing that this, intuitively sensing that this needs to be done now, and then you will be going on with things. But when the sun moves, then you've got the plans and then things are more rolling forwards there. Um, so maybe that is born, birthed in the previous period, and then it really gets rolling in the next period from the 23rd onwards. Um, you've got Venus and Jupiter in stunningly good areas um, in your uh, solar chart at the moment, Sagittarius. Um, apart from the 19th of July to the 1st of August, uh, when she will be favoring um, your profession or your status in the world, which isn't a bad thing, Venus is supporting more uh, m warmer um, relationships with those far away or from a different background or with to do with teachers or teaching. Um, travel, travel with a partner is far more likely um, and somebody's influence could get you thinking outside of the box. Maybe this is somebody you know personally or maybe it's somebody that you're just getting on with uh, in a business sort of sense, in a more formal kind of a way. Um, and anything to do with money from abroad or money going abroad um, for whatever the reason um, it's, it's likely that you do okay with that, um, yes, and, and somebody's likely to be holding your hand and taking you through things step by step, somebody's got the know-how, somebody who's, who knows the ropes, um, that's more likely, uh, and so if you're already in collaboration with somebody but it's not quite panning out the way you like, you can actually reach out for somebody else and you're far more likely to get that somebody else in pretty short order with Venus here and Jupiter. Um, so uh, this is also an area to do with communications, publications, broadcasting, putting the word out on a wider stage, etc. And you and somebody could um, be doing that. Um, 
a, a, a guru figure, a teacher figure could be very, very helpful to you, but also just somebody who's a specialist in their field can be very helpful to you. And you can be seen more as being the teacher, the, the specialist in your field, the guru even, who are being very, who is being very helpful to another. And you tend to, during this transit here, get a better understanding or material reward for these um, joint efforts, you and someone together, um, connecting you to uh, um, those at a distance. Okay, so through the internet or something like that, or it, could, or it might be physically you, you, you're there, you know, or somebody coming from a distance as well. Um, and then, um, uh, so Ju yes, and Jupiter uh, is there, and Jupiter is very strong in this house of the solar chart, and uh, that's good news for you because it is actually your own house, Sagittarius. So um, you um, learning through doing, uh, through language, through through education, through travel is a great vibration for broadcasting onto a wider stage, um, and uh, and the like. You Sagittarians born the 12th to the 21st of December or with 20 to 29 degrees rising you're going to feel that energy the most this month and also I must tell you um, if you didn't hear last month I did mention Uranus Jupiter and Uranus Jupiter uh, the aspect between the two of them has been have been going on since late May um, and this this is the real rabbit out of the hat energy this is this is you plunging as long as you allow it okay so you plunge into a new new conditions new new learning new scenario new uh place um just take a different route home you know or go walking around in a different direction um if you you're plunging into something um different new constructive uh an environment which is an unfamiliar environment it could be that then there could be this light bulb moment where it all just makes sense in a flash and it could be pretty good fortune um, uh, which uh, changes things for you so um, yes uh, just a mention of that and now the Venus Jupiter position uh, it, it's very very good for your sign but they're both of them are going to go over Saturn by the by degree or rather Saturn's going to kind of um, interact with them by degree so from the 10th onwards, you might feel a bit restricted there or you just feel as though there's more on your shoulders because of Saturn going over Venus um, and uh, this is maybe more on your mind, more responsibility because of um, something to do with education, something to do with those at a distance, something to do with travel. Um, it just just more on your shoulders there. Um, it could be that. It could be just uh, um, yeah. That that's it. And then from the twenty first, um, it could be that something that you decided to do around about seven years ago, or something, some action you took, or so just some some just direction of travel you started off on seven years ago. The knock on effect, the consequence, the ramifications of it come up now for testing. Okay. And uh, it might be that you see during this testing time that there's aspects of it which aren't as you had rig originally imagined or planned, um, is not allowing you the scope that you want. Uh, and, 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 and you want to grow, you want to de develop. So this might be the time that you really bite the bullet and say, okay, I really need to do something about this now. Um, and uh, this might be the time as well that you've got to let go of something also. It can be like that, but it might not be like that at all. It might be something somebody else decided to do seven years ago, uh, which has had an effect on you. It might be nothing to do with that, really. It might just be that there's a bit of a squeeze on your opportunity for expansion. Um, uh, or it might be that you've in order to expand you've just got to work harder at something like getting educated in some way um, making the right connections with others in some way you've just got to be more dogged in and persevering um, in order for this to happen or it might be to do with publishing or broadcasting or something like that so just take things step by step and you will be slowly pushing against a little bit more pressure but slowly expanding it is inevitable um 
because the universe is expanding all the time and we as created beings are expanding all the time. So we do go through sort of heavy, heavy energy. This is true, but if you keep working the energies through you and just keep on going in the direction you want, you will get there in the end, ultimately. Um, and just a mention of Neptune. Uh, now, Neptune... Um, no, I'll, me I'll mention Uranus uh, uh, and Pluto. So, so we have Pluto opposing the Sun, or the Sun opposing Pluto. A uh, bit more pressure on you, um, maybe because there's more riding on something to do with finances or to do with a property or to do with a space inside, outside. So again, a breakthrough can happen there and then a letting go and then a feeling of, okay, that's, that's, that's a good thing. I, I am now relieved. This is great. So that can be happening. That's between the 5th and the 7th, particularly. Um, and then uh, the 10th, 11th, 10th, 11th to the 14th, we have um, the Sun in, uh, opposing Uranus. So slightly tense, tenser time. Um, uh, expect the unexpected. Um, don't uh, anticipate the worst, necessarily. Um, uh, and uh, you should just watch your step as you go forwards there. But, uh, um, you know, things could actually fall very much in your favour. Again, this is, <laughs> this is the astrologer saying it's very unpredictable. <laughs> um, but it kind of is unpredictable energy. So um, you... But because Uranus is in such a good angle to your sun sign, it's probably okay, but you'll probably be feeling a, slow, a little bit jittery around about there for some reason or another. It could be for quite a minor thing or maybe something a little bit bigger, but it is pretty, pretty kind of fleeting that transit and then just a quick mention of Neptune in your home area and this this mega 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 long transit um, and uh, it means that maybe you put on you you're tempted to put on one side your own plans and desires and hopes and and and, and um, we tend to not put on one side our fears do we <laughs> But we put on one side our hopes um, and then we keep our fears. Now, isn't that interesting? Why do we do that? So in the home area, it's to do with where you live. It's to do with family. It's to do with neighborhood. And it might be that you give up on some idea or some style you would prefer because you feel it's for the common good. There is that that pull there to do that. There's, there's a pull there to do that or to do with family. Again, there could be people who, from the family or extended family that lean more on you. And you, again, you feel the same thing. Okay, I've got to be there for them. And of course, we've all got to be there for each other, but we also have to be there for ourselves. We have to live our own life. So you've got to tread this very fine line there, um, not putting anybody on a pedestal, not, not, you know, letting anybody pull the wool over our eyes, not letting anybody trample all over our boundaries either. So being sensible about having our own space and our own kind of, you know, what we need, maybe just toning it down a little bit, but, you know, we, we, what we need. But this is what your area of sacrifice. So in order to, to make that sacrifice as minimal as possible, because you still have a life to live, you still got to grow and evolve and blossom and become inhabit more of who you are as a as a great expanded being. So no pressure there then. Um, you know, um, just try to use your common sense um, in in this area here, and integrate their wishes and the conditions that you, you just are in with what you really, really, really want, uh, and not in a kind of selfish, greedy kind of way. And you Sagittarians born the 3rd of November to the 3rd of, sorry, 30th of November to the 3rd of December, with 8 to 11 degrees rising, you're going to feel the energy of that mostly this month. And yes, I know it hasn't moved for a bit because it's just been kind of going backwards and forwards. So, so anyway, it'll probably move next month. Um, a little bit. And that's it for July. If you know your rising sign or your moon sign, listen to that. And also you can read all this. It's it's written up on my website, dianagarland.com, for all to see. Um, and I will see you the next time.